The garden was attached to the abbot palace, now completely demolished. The abbot lived separately from the other monks and had its own manners to finance his lifestyle. He had power over the library of St Edmund, which covered all of West Suffolk. He often travelled to visit his fair-flung estates, other abbeys, London or even the Vatican in Rome. At home he was required to entertain no woman, bishops and even the king. The abbot's garden was all around here. This is from the 13th century. In front of you is a dove court and beyond that the 13th century abbey bridge and a long present wall with enclosed the whole site. The wall even extended over the river where the bridge and port portuses could prevent boats entering the abbey. Wow, look how it used to look. Continue to your lesson on the main path to the next panel. And that is what it is today. And that's what it was in the heyday. The Abbot's Garden, Abbey of St Edmunds, shines on. This is one of 10 outdoor panels linked to the tap tour available from the Abbey Visitor Centre. Wonderful. Well, you've got me. And that's how it is, and that's how it was. Shine on.